Jeff Chandler for the Events Calendar. Today we're going to review attendee registration settings for Event Tickets Plus. Collecting information about your attendees, such as their names and email addresses, can give you insights about who is coming to your event, how to communicate with them, and even create personalized experiences for them. With Event Tickets Plus, you could choose to collect additional information from people who RSVP or buy tickets to your events. By default, RSVPs collect the user's name and email address. People who purchase tickets are required to fill out their contact and payment information. To configure your event registration settings, head to Tickets, click on Settings, and click the Attendee Registration page. And we're only going to cover three of these options here today. First is the Attendee Registration Modal. When this is checked, it will enable a modal pop-up on your site just before reaching the cart checkout. You can also remove an attendee from this screen as well. Attendee Registration Template is where attendee information is collected during the checkout process. You can change the look of this page or modal using the attendee registration template. Last but not least, the attendee registration page. If you'd like to have full control over designing the registration page to perfectly match your website with methods to show sidebars, footers, or other page elements, using the attendee registration page is the route to go. Use the tribe underscore attendee underscore registration shortcode to display the attendee information fields to users on any WordPress page or post. Now we can also set what information to collect during registration. So we're going to go to an event and we're going to click on new ticket. And down here you'll be able to see attendee information. And this is what we like to call custom registration fields. And they are a feature included with event tickets plus. Please note that attendee collection does not need to be enabled in order to collect attendee information, aka custom registration fields. With this method, only one email would be sent to the purchaser's email address that contains all of the tickets. If you'd like emails sent to each of the attendees, you'll want to enable attendee registration. Once you are done adding custom fields to the event's registration form, save your changes and anyone purchasing a ticket will see the form during registration, based on which option you have chosen in the previous section. With Event Tickets Plus 5.2.4 or above, we have enabled placeholder support for the following attendee registration fields, text, email, URL, and telephone. Note that you can save your custom registration options as a saved field set that could be used on other tickets you make. To do this, simply add a field, or once you're done adding fields, you will then click this option to save this field set for use on other tickets. Now, I've already gone ahead and done that, and in the drop-down area, you could see ticket field set. And if you click on that, the template should show up here in the fields. Now, how to view attendee information? Well, let's head over to events, hover over an event with attendees. You should see, as long as you have an active ticket with sales, you should see this link as you hover over the event called attendees. And this is where all of the information would be displayed for the attendees. And you could also see the answers to the registration field sets. For more information about Events Tickets Plus and other features related to the events calendar, please visit the Events Calendar Knowledge Base.